Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. Uh, the sale, I don't know if you can see the sun. Uh, you saw it back there. Um, just stopped at that sale, asked for uh, video games, and the lady said she doesn't know, and then she asked, I think it was her son, and uh, he started looking for stuff. And he found a Wii right away, he said he had a Super Nintendo. Looked for like 10 minutes, couldn't find it, so I proceeded to leave, and look, he found it right there. Um, he said he thought he had like more games, but it was only the one that was in there, but not a bad game uh, that's in there, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. You guys can see right there. Super Nintendo is dirty, but I got that for 10 bucks. And then uh, Sega Genesis with just the cables for five bucks. So 15 bucks for everything, that's a pretty great deal. Um, yeah, pretty much just freestyling it. Every now and then I'll you know find one online and uh, kind of make my way towards it, but hitting every sale on the way. So this is the first find of the day. Um, not a lot of sales listed today, but still enough to find something so um <clears throat> yeah when i find something else i'll let you guys know what's up everybody so i'll show you the yard sale real quick right there this is one of my most epic scores ever oh man and i'm about to get into an accident <laughs> oh man i'm so excited this is my this was my original color i've been looking for I, I bought this color as I was a kid. I still have my original system. Don't know what happened to the box and the styrofoam. Now I have the box and the styrofoam. Bam. Blue. Fantastic. Complete in the box. Well, it's missing the controller. I don't care about that. I have an extra controller. Um, it's, it's amazing. I can't believe that. That This, this was an all... I'm going to pull over real quick. No parking area. This was an all-day event. All day. Um, I've been, I came, this is my third time coming here. Third time is a charm. Can't believe this happened. Um, first talked to his wife. Second time I came, just missed him. Third time, um, he was there. We talked about it and 120 bucks. I paid 120 bucks. I got the system. I got a stack of games. I got Pokemon Snap complete in the box. I got this, uh, 64 Rumble Pack complete in the box. Um, We've got uh, WCW NWO, GoldenEye, Ready to Rumble Boxing, uh, Major League Baseball, Ken Griffey Jr., Mario Kart 64, Zelda, uh, Mario Party 3, and Extreme G. 120 bucks. I am just ecstatic right now. Can't believe I scored this. Garage sale Friday. Um, so amazing tomorrow there's a community sale i don't even care if i find anything this was it so yeah um tomorrow you guys will see some stuff from tomorrow and it, right now it's like one o'clock i had to come back to the third time one o'clock he was here just worked out perfectly um so yeah i'm stoked i'm so happy um tomorrow community sale see you guys tomorrow hey everybody saturday morning i'm at this community sale and it is dry um i've I've stopped at so many sales and it's either we sold it last year can't find it it's just dry so um, got this for 10 bucks right now it has a game in it no charger um, but 10 bucks you know and I got this earlier uh, an Xbox uh, bag kind of I don't know not really collecting the bags but I have quite a few I have uh, GameCube PlayStation uh, N64 and NES so that's kind of cool. Right. If, I, if I find them, I'll, I'll buy them if they're cheap. I got that bag for three bucks, so pretty good. But yeah, this community sale—it's uh, definitely dry. A lot of, lot of people. Um, I'm trying to hit areas that not a lot of people are at, but I mean, it's just nobody has anything, so <laughs> I bought it all. <laughs> uh, but that's the sale I got the PSP from. So yeah, just gonna keep going. Um, it's still early. It's only 7.40 right now, so keep going, and uh, when I find something else, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, I got another little pickup here. Sail mm, that way. Um, as I was walking away, this guy walks back out, and he's like, oh, I found Mario Brothers. Mario Kart. Uh, Super Nintendo. Five bucks. So weird that this was the only thing that they had. But, well, I'll, I'll take it for five bucks. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And keep going. I mean, 
it's really slow. Like there's, it's just I'm hitting a lot of places that where they've already been asked. So that's what you have. What have what happens in a community sale? So when it starts to get in the later hours, you start running into more. Like oh, we already got asked. So all right, see you guys in a bit. I got another tiny score here. Really hard to find a sports game on the PS3. Uh, NCAA Football 14. Let me just trade that in. Uh, Crash Team Racing. And then uh, Sim Animals, which was in this case, and he just gave me the case of uh, Spyro. I wish the Spyro game was in there, but five bucks, so pretty good. That NCAA game sells for quite a bit, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Either sell it online or I don't know. Probably trade it in. Just trade it in. <laughs> Get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to be done here. Um, it's just too crazy. It's way too many people, and uh, it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> But yeah, if I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. If not, I'll get everything together and uh, show you guys what I got. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> so, all done with the garage sale stuff. And let me just say, Friday was amazing. Um, I finally found something in the wild that I've been looking for and I've been wanting for a long time. Um, part of my childhood, basically. And it, it's just... When I first saw it, I was blown away. And when I was able to purchase it, it, it was just amazing to me. Um, so I'm going to show you the amazing finds from Friday. Um, I, I went to a community sale today and there was just, it was dead. Like you could tell this community sale has been picked through in the past few years. Um, more and more people are doing this now. So I still found a couple things and then, uh, a little like a uh, midweek pickup. Um, okay. So let's jump into it. So started Friday off no high intentions you know a few sales here and there um <clears throat> kind of went to two different cities and uh first sale i walk up ask if they got games and they um it was kind of like uh oh well we we might and then um the i guess it was his mother um she asked her son uh do you you know you know where there's any video games do we have any video games he's like yeah we have a wii and a super nintendo and i was like oh okay cool so he knew immediately where the wii was he pulls it out and he's like oh it's missing uh the nunchuck and the the, the sensor bar cable is ripped and i was like okay yeah well i'll probably pass on that and then he couldn't find the super nintendo so i was a little bummed out i was in my car pulling away and he flags me down he found the super nintendo um, so he pulls it out and he was in a bag like with a bunch of cables and everything. It didn't have the TV cable, um, but Super Nintendo. Now it was filthy, disgustingly filthy, and I was able to clean it up pretty pretty well. Um, Magic Eraser, that's where it's at when you're cleaning consoles. So the system, one controller that's uh, pretty beat. Um, it does work, but it's pretty messed up right there. And then the only game that was stuck inside of it, but still a pretty good game to be the only game. It wasn't a sports game. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. A little old damage right here on the label, but still pretty cool. And uh, the game was filthy as well, so that cleaned up nice. And then uh, as his mother was digging through a bag of, of electronics, she pulled out a Genesis. Um, so I had given him $10 for the Super Nintendo, and then he pulls out the Genesis. No controllers, um, but all the cables five bucks for the Genesis so pretty sweet deal um so from then on it was just a whole bunch of sales with with nothing you know either they sold it last year or you know same old story um so I get back to my town <coughs> and uh th this is a sale that I found on Craigslist and um I hit, hit up the sale and I noticed right away they had a couple controllers, you know, spread out. And then I saw like aftermarket GameCube controller. So I asked them, you know, do you, do you guys happen to have any video games? And the daughter comes up and she says, no, just the controllers right there. And I was like, oh, okay. Now this is where, you know, a lot of people, they, they hear that and then they leave immediately and that's it. So I, I, right after she, she said that, I was like, oh, okay, well, no, you know, anything older, you know, like uh, old Nintendo, you know, anything cartridge based. And she was like, oh, well, my husband has a N64. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm definitely interested in that. And she was like, well, he's not here right now, and I don't think he wants to sell it. And I was, you know, without sounding rude or, or kind of too pushy, I was like, well, would there be a chance maybe we can call him and see, you know, if you might want to sell it? 
And she was like, sure, yeah, no problem. So she calls him and his phone was off. So she just said, you know, come back around 9.30. He should be here. Well, I got there at 9.20, I think it was. Oh, he just left. Um, so her saying he didn't want to sell it, you know, it's... It, 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 I mean, when I came back, she said, yeah, he, he might want to sell it, but it just depends on, on what you offer, pretty much. So um, so he had the thought in his mind. So he, he was interested. Um, so it just kind of, you know, was a, was about whatever, you know, I could offer for it. So um, I come, she told me to come back at noon. I came back, it was like 1 o'clock, I think. Um, get there, and he's there, and he's waiting for me. He knew I was coming. He's like, you're here for the games? And I was like, yeah, dude, let's let's talk business. He's like, well, she told you I didn't really want to sell it, right? And I was like, yeah, but, you know, she said you might. So that's kind of, that's that's a, a little step. So we get in there and um, start hashing the deal. And, and we pull down the system, pull out the games. And uh, we end up coming to an agreement. 120 bucks gets me everything I'm about to show you. And the system, I mean, I had the system, but the box is what I've really been wanting. So first we'll start with uh, the games. Um, well, th these these two are boxed. Um, this was at the bottom of the bag with the loose games, uh, an extra uh, expansion pack. There was also also another one in the system. And then we got uh, a rumble pack in the box. That's pretty cool. I like finding accessories in the box. And then the only boxed game, but still a pretty good one to have boxed, uh, Pokemon Snap. And that's complete. And the box is in relatively nice shape. Only a little bit, you know, crushing here and there. And then the corner wear, like usual. Um, and then the games. Some good stuff here. So we've got uh, Major League Baseball featuring uh, Ken Griffey Jr. WCW versus NWO World Tour. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Extreme G. We got uh, GoldenEye 007, uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And all these are in like really nice shape. Uh, Mario Kart 64, and then Mario Party 3. And then uh, gray controller. And then the best thing, only, it was only missing the controller on the inside, but that's not a problem. I have that. Um, an ice blue N64 in the box. Um, it's got the baggies and stuff. Like I said, it was just missing the controller. But to find this in the wild is just amazing. I've been looking for the box for this color because I'm trying to go for all CIB Fantastics. And so far I have watermelon and smoke. Now blue, this one, the one that I have up there, that's my original N64 from my childhood. I remember going to Kmart and buying it and then buying you know no mercy as my first game and i still have both of those now i had the box and everything for no mercy but i don't know what happened to the box and the styrofoam for the ice blue so this definitely hits home with me like i'm never gonna let this go this this is definitely my childhood right here um first system i, I personally went out and bought um so super happy to have this in the collection um, amazing just amazing finds when I first saw it and uh, see before her husband got back she showed me the stuff and she pointed up and said oh you know that's the system up there and when I saw there was the blue one I just you know <laughs> it was crazy the feeling I got like wow dude that's memories right there I need to get that so um, 120 bucks amazing deal and this is definitely not going anywhere I'm definitely gonna keep this um, you know those other ones I don't have as much attachment to but this one, this is my favorite. So definitely stoked to find this in the wild. I never thought I would find something like this in the wild. You know, I thought maybe I would have to trade. For, like that's, you know, I traded for both of those boxes. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. Definitely, definitely happy with that. So 120 bucks for all that stuff. Amazing deal. Okay, so that was an amazing Friday. Um, probably the first time I've ever done better on a Friday. Well, I don't know, maybe not. In a, in a while, yeah. First in, 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 a, in a few months or six months at least that I've done better on a Friday than I did on a Saturday. So Saturday comes. Now, I didn't know about this community sale at first, um, but then my buddy tipped me off about it. And I go to it every every time they, they have it. Um, so uh, usually they advertise it all over Craigslist, but it wasn't on there at all. It was mostly on Facebook. 
So I go there and uh, thinking I'm going to find a lot of stuff because I usually do. And uh, there was just, there was nothing. It, it was, it was insane. There was too many people. Um, so start off the day, uh, an original Xbox case. Um, pretty cool. You know, not, not, not too bad. Um, for some reason, I got a few of these now. So uh, pretty, I don't, it's a weird collection. I got a Nintendo one, a GameCube, a PlayStation. So pretty cool. I'll definitely just keep this in the collection. Uh, three bucks on that. And then finally I find something like video game. Um, walk up, ask for games. And she pulled out uh, some PS2 games, I think. And uh, they pull out this, uh, a 1001 uh, PSP, um, had one game in it, uh, Cars. It works, um, five, wait, ten bucks, ten bucks on this one, so not bad, ten bucks. Um, so after that, it was pretty slow, um, hit another sale, ask if they had games, and the lady immediately goes to a table full of computer games. And I said, I'm looking for more like, like console type games. So I'm walking away, and the the guy he the one of the guys there he walks into the garage and comes out and he's like, "You looking for stuff like this? I got a Super Mario here." And I was like, "Oh, okay." And shows it to me. It's a Super Mario Kart, um, five bucks. So amazing deal to find Mario Kart, any Mario Kart for five bucks. Um, okay, so this was the last garage sale find. Again, just asked for games, and they pulled out a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, so. First, in a sleeve, I found Crash Team Racing. And I got all this stuff for five bucks. Um, next, he pulled out a few PS3 games, and I noticed this gem ring. Yeah, it's, it's a hard-to-find sports game. Uh, NCAA Football 14. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or trade it or what, but I mean, at the price, I got everything. It's, it's whatever. And then uh, Legend of Spyro Case um, inside was Sim Animals. So, five bucks, not bad. Um, so that was it for garage sale stuff. Next, uh, this is um, pickups I got during the week. Um, first, I bought this because I sold a PS3 um, to somebody and they said that it, it something was messed up on it. Um, I was able to fix it, no problem, and she says it's working great now. Uh, but I went out and got this just in case, you know, I had to swap it out. I paid 25. Um, PS3 super slim with controller and it just had the power cable. This thing works amazing. So um, I, I do actually have a box for this one. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. Uh, so 25 on that. And then I paid 15 for this. I got uh, another PS2 for my buddy. And then three games. Uh, we've got the Simpsons game. Actually pretty hard to find on the Xbox 360. Um, Star Wars Battlefront on the Xbox, and then this gem, um, probably the most expensive version on the PS2, uh, Def Jam, Fight for NY. So pretty good, 15 bucks for all that stuff, amazing deal. I mean, this game is up there like around 45, 50 bucks. I don't, I don't know why, but pretty cool. Um, I actually uh, sold my copy to my brother-in-law, so I'll probably just keep that one. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys for. Uh, for this one um pretty good pretty good uh week in garage sale finds um so yeah thumbs up the video comment subscribe and thanks for watching see you guys next time